Hey everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm doing a video today about hair. Today's video is gonna be on prepping for wash day. Now, first, make sure you subscribe. I take prepping my hair for wash day very seriously. Now, I may co-wash my hair multiple times throughout the week. Everybody's been asking how often I do that. It just depends on life life happens and I need to look a certain way for certain things and that's kind of what it depends. As you can see my hair is, it looks nice but it's actually, um, it's on day like day four since I've co-washed but I washed my hair like, but I washed my hair like, ew my arm just jiggled, ew. But I washed my hair probably like a week and a half ago so I'm gonna wash it again tomorrow. So this is how I prep for my wash day. I might wash it tonight, we'll see. So first thing I'm gonna do is take this bandana out because it ain't about being cute anymore. And I also have hair tie. So. <laughs> this is why I use scrunchies and not hair ties like this. Oh, wow. Oh. I'm just gonna lift that hair up right there. This is my hair. You know it's dry when you can hear it. Like I can hear the dryness. All right, so first thing I like to do now, sometimes I prep this like, two days before wash day and sometimes it's like the day before but I try to give it like two days because I like the oils to sit in my hair and so the first oil that I'm going to use is Jamaican black castor oil now this is going to be the thickest oil that I'm probably going to use I really like it because it aids growth a lot and I've used this on my eyelashes I use this on my eyebrows i use this on my baby hairs and i do this very tediously keep in mind i am not a professional at all so after i put castor oil on my entire scalp all the way around what you're gonna do is get your fingers and just rub it and make sure that all of the castor oil gets evenly distributed on your actual scalp. Apparently this aids growth too, stimulates hair growth. So it's always good to massage your scalp. I love this. Um, I've been using this. I use this mostly when I braid my hair but I started to use it before wash day as well. This, you're just gonna, I poke a hole in it so it comes out like that. So what you're gonna do is just kind of put it all in your scalp. This bottle is a lot easier than the other castor oil one. So now that you have a good amount of that, you're just gonna kind of massage the scalp again and do the same thing. So now that we have focused on the scalp, the next thing we're gonna do is focus on the rest of the curls because they need moisture too. My Marula oil. And this absorbs quickly, contains antioxidants, adds strength, highly moisturizing. So this is great for this part of your hair. So I'm just gonna, and I'm just gonna go like this. You can kind of use your nails and brush through it if you can. If you see it tangling, just don't. Wait to detangle till you get in the shower. That's the best way to do it when you have your conditioner in and everything. You don't want to try to detangle your hair while it's dry if you have curly hair. The tangling while it's dry is just, oh my God, you just don't want to do that. And then I just go like this until it runs out of my hands. All right, so the next oil we're gonna use is our carrot oil. This is the carrot oil I use. So the carrot oil is gonna fight hair breakage, which is very important for blonde hair. You can also use this on your scalp, but I mainly use this for the ends of my hair because we don't want any breakage, honey. I'm just gonna kind of focus on the ends of my hair. Yeah. right here protect the, these hairs here for video purposes i did not use as much oil as i usually use but i used a good amount just to show you guys 
what I really do. And this is what I really do before wash days. So my oils in my hair, basically what I'm gonna do is put my hair in a bun. And when I go to sleep, I like to wear a silk bonnet. So you can either use like a scarf or a bonnet. Since my hair is curly and out, I'm probably gonna use a bonnet so I can just tuck it in. I don't have to like make sure it's wrapped properly. And then I will jump into my wash day. So I've been letting the oils sit in my hair for a few days, so it's finally time to wash my hair. So I'm just gonna wet my hair first, and then I am going to use the Olaplex shampoo, and I'm just gonna lather it in my hair, all in my scalp to get rid of any unnecessary buildup from my product that I've constantly used in between co-washes. So I'm just gonna lather everything in and massage my scalp as I go. I personally like to use my nails to just scrub and get in there, like swimwear. As you can see, lather it all in there. I do this for a little while until I feel like I'm completely clean. your hair really good of course that's super important when rinsing out shampoo and in the meantime I'm just gonna wash my face <laughs> and then I'm gonna use my Shea Moisture mask I love this mask now you can leave it in like 5 to 30 minutes I usually leave it in just while I shave or something like that I don't leave it in that long but of course you'll always see the best results when you leave it in and I like to make sure you get it evenly distributed in all the places of your hair and this is the point where I like to try to comb through my hair, as you can see with my fingers, because if you keep your hair moisturized really well, you should be able to comb through it with your fingers. So as you can see, it's very soft, very combable, and I'm just gonna rinse it all out. Now I have my Olaplex conditioner, and I'm just gonna use a good amount, and I'm gonna distribute it evenly throughout my whole hair. I love conditioner, it just, it just sets the tone for curly hair. I mean, I'm gonna also add this Diva Curl Conditioner because the more the better. Some people probably don't advise you to do this, but I am just extra and I don't wash my hair very often. I usually only wash it every two weeks, so it's not like I'm using this much every day. So I like to go overboard on my wash days and just make sure that it's nice and moisturized, nice and soft, and yeah. On my co-wash days, I don't really use a comb in the shower, but on my actual wash days, I like to keep a comb in the shower just to make sure that my hair is very detangled, on point, get all the conditioner out, and it is at its optimal level of softness. And then I just rinse everything out. Wow, I used a lot of product. Probably not that necessary, but you know, do what you wish. Do what makes you happy. So I'm not even gonna lie to y'all, I don't always use this towel, but you should use a microfiber towel because it's better for your hair, it reduces frizziness, and it's just better for locking in moisture so you don't dry your hair out. Thank y'all so much for tuning into this prep and wash day video. I hope you enjoyed it and I can't wait to see y'all next video.